So, uh, uh, my name is Ismo Limosma. I'm uh, currently I'm a professor of health and uh, social economics at the University of Eastern Finland, and also um, I also work as a research professor at the National Institute for Health and, and Welfare. And how would you explain what you do to a lay person? Well, uh, in recent years, uh, my research has focused. I'm an economist as an education. So, in recent years, uh, my research has focused on on the uh, costs and outcomes and cost effectiveness of long term care services. And I have done this primarily in in uh, three research projects. One is called Excel, exploring cooperative efficiency and uh, uh, cooperative effectiveness and efficiency in long term care. The other one is Sprint, uh, that is the social protection innovative investments in long term care. And the last one is uh, SEQUA, uh, that is cost effectiveness and quality in, 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 um, in long term care. And, uh, these projects they uh, contain various degrees of primary data collection and analysis of the data, but there, but there is also uh, we have also done done policy analysis that is based on the existing lit literature and also the policy documents. What would you say are currently the three main policy priorities in, for long term care in Finland? In Finland, we don't have a separate long-term care system. Uh, it's part of the uh, health and social care services. And municipalities are responsible for organizing health and social care for municipal residents. They can do it in several ways. They can produce the uh, services for the, uh, for the um, service users by themselves. They can purchase services from other municipalities, uh, private providers or from the state or they can grant vouchers to service users who can then go to the uh, private market and buy, buy services from there. And uh, all this is funded from three sources. It's, uh, it's funded by the state subsidies, it's funded uh, by municipal taxation and also user fees. So that's the short description of the Finnish system. And what comes to uh, policy priorities or trends in, in long-term care in Finland, I would like to mention uh, three. One is uh, sort of uh, uh, prevention of health problems, and the other one is, is um, emphasis on home care in the, in the formal care system, and the third one is the uh, technology, sort of increased use of uh, welfare technology in long term care services. And what comes to, um, if I go a little bit more, I'll say a little bit more about each of, each of these. So, um, so municipalities are uh, sort of willing to increase or they are obliged to increase the, <laughs> the uh, healthy and functionally capable life years of, of uh, whole population in Finland. And they, they, they do it in, uh, they are sort of uh, Advised to do it in, in by implementing effective interventions like interventions on on fall prevention, on on uh, on uh, nutritional advice, and also different kind of uh, physical exercise interventions. And they can they also advise to us uh, give us specific uh, sort of um, targeted intervention to specific groups of people like uh, old, frail old elderly individuals and also um, individuals with cognitive problems. And it is believed that all this, this sort of prevention and preventive measures they will decrease the uh, need for health and uh, long term care in the future. So that's one, one trend in Finland. And then uh, there is this trend on, on um, uh, or emphasis on home care services in, in, the, in the formal uh, uh, service system. So um, we had an act on old age care in 2013 that was implemented in 2013. And according to that act, uh, municipalities uh, should provide uh, health and social care services for old population or old individuals in need of care. Uh, primarily by providing these services in people's own homes. 
and institutional care is something uh, that should be provided only on good medical reasons. And of course there's a flip side of this uh, coin, is of course that municipalities need resources for, to do that. And at the moment it seems that there are, there are not enough resources in, in, uh, in home care uh, in municipalities. But there is a shortage of, of resources and labor work and so forth. So uh, how it uh, you can see it because the uh, visits to um, home care clients are very short. Uh, care workers are very busy and, and there is a large turnover in the among the care workers. And municipalities are trying to respond to this by sort of improving quality and reorganizing home care services. So this is the second second point, and the third sort of uh, trend is the I would like to mention the uh, increased use of welfare technology. And uh, yes, municipalities are utilizing more and more uh, welfare technology and assistive technologies in order to sort of improve the well health and well-being of all individuals in need of care. And they sort of believe that the, uh, the use of welfare technology would improve the health and well-being of individuals, old individuals. Uh, it would also improve the safety and uh, number of years that people can live in their own homes. And of course there is an economic side to all, all of this. So municipalities are sort of expecting that they can, uh, when they are investing in, in welfare technology, there will be savings in the form of care systems and this is sort of a strong motivation for to do this. So those were the three trends. Yes. To what extent do you think these priorities have changed in the last uh, five years? Um, if they have changed at all? I would say that the emphasis on uh, municipalities' responsibilities to support health and well-being of all the individuals has been there since the old age, since the act on old age care in, in the beginning of 2013. And the same thing applies to home care. So in that regards, I don't think uh, we haven't seen so many changes. But uh, I think the new thing is that municipalities are utilizing welfare technology more and more. And that's, that is something new in the, in the Finnish long-term care. Uh, yes, I would say that. If you have an opportunity to introduce one new long-term care policy in Finland, what would it be and why? I would uh, sort of... Uh, I would sort of introduce the sort of affordable senior housing for, for elder, like assisted living units and this, this kind of things. In so these services would be provided to individuals already uh, at the time they are not facing a sort of serious needs of health and social care. So I think it would be a nice way to sort of um, um, reduce the loneliness that people are, sort of all people, for example, living alone in their homes and having home care uh, experience. So, that would be my suggestion. Um, in terms of research priorities, what is it that you think is an outstanding piece of research on long-term care that needs to be carried out in Finland? I think the answer is quite simple. We need more, <laughs> more evidence on, on costs and outcomes and cost-effectiveness of long-term care services in general, both on, on home care and on, on, on residential care. I'm now going to ask you a few quick questions. I'm looking for a number of responses from 1 to 10, so yeah. where 1 is low and 10 is high. Yeah. What policy priority is allocated to long-term care in your country? Uh, I would give number something like 7 or 8, because the uh, I think it's quite high, quite high because the uh, Finnish population is ageing at the moment. So there's a lot of attention from policymakers to this, this area. 
How aware is the general public in Finland of what long-term care systems offer to them? I think it's quite low, so I would give um, perhaps six. And how well does the system support people with long-term care needs? Oh, this is always difficult. I was, uh, I think it's again, it's either seven or eight. So it's it's uh, the system is not uh, working perfectly, but. The, it's not very bad either. <laughs> so, how well does the system support the needs of carers? I think it's about the same. I would here. I would say uh, perhaps seven. Yeah. And finally, how integrated are social care and healthcare services in Finland? Some parts, like uh, home care services, are integrated. So. Municipalities are providing home care and it's integrated health and social care. So in that regards, the we, we have a very integrated system, but the other parts are not necessarily integrated. So again, again, I think it's seven, seven or eight. <laughs>